Uh, Pat McManus. Um, I currently work in the Annex Development Organization with our major accounts team interfacing with customers. It helps, I, I got a hopefully good understanding of what our customers do with our software. I do not write software even though I'm in the development organization. I'm kind of the bridge between us and, and them. So it's funny, I tell people that when I come to the office in the morning, about half of what I do, I have no idea till I get here and I see what's in my inbox. It's things that come in from the hotline or from the field or from a customer meeting or a user's conference or one of our executives has visited a customer and, you know, kind of gets something out of the blue that they need followed up. There's showstoppers, there are things that need immediate attention and I don't know what they are till I see them in my inbox. So that's probably about half my day. The rest is more kind of organized, longer term projects, helping with enhancements and planning and, and customer deployments, that sort of stuff. There's a couple things that I see when I look at our customers' workflows. In more of the traditional drafting area, uh, and it's not totally new, but we've enhanced it now with the January releases, the ability to, to tie a 2D layout and a 3D representation and have those associatively update. I think that's going to be a, a big hit with the customers. It's something, when we came out with it initially, that was one of the, the pieces of feedback we got was they, they liked it, but they needed that enhancement area. So there's been work done there that I think is going to be very exciting. I think the, one of the most exciting things I'm seeing is in the PMI area. Uh, with customers I visit, everyone wants to use PMI. It's a hot button. Um, the big customers spending a lot of time and money kind of sorting out how to do it. The smaller customers are asking a lot of questions. It's one of the few areas where we get questions. Usually we provide software and the customers kind of take it and they use it and they know what they want to do with it. PMI is unusual and a lot of the questions are about how to actually do it, how to make the workflows, which usually customers do on their own. But this is such a new area. But the, the one common one I hear from a lot of these customers is we've done all the stuff, we've done all the PMI, we're doing the MBD, but when it comes to MBE, with doing across the enterprise, it kind of falls short when they get to the supply chain because their supply chain doesn't, they're not always as advanced and they have the ability to consume all the PMI. So I think the technical data package we're coming out with, the TDP, um, in January is going to be a huge benefit because that's going to open it now to the supply chain. I think that's where the companies are really going to see the benefit of doing the, the PMI and the MBD up front and be able to, to feed the whole, the whole supply chain. I think that might be a, a game changer. Yeah, I, I think they're, like I said, I, I think they're going to be excited to be able to use the TDP in the supply chain. I think having the 2D, 3D bridge is going to help with companies that are still very 2D centric, very drawing centric, that are still kind of making the move into the 3D area. That's not so much the major accounts that I work with because they've, they've kind of done that. But again, they're, they're tier two suppliers, tier three suppliers. I, I hear funny stories sometimes where a big company does all this work in 3D and they turn the data over to their supplier and find out their, their supplier in order to get the manufacturing done ends up making their own drawings and making their own simplistic CAD models and it's like, well, we did all this stuff up front, why are you wasting all this time? Um, so I think taking that waste out of the, out of the supply chain is going to help everybody. My, I was tempted to first say revolutionary, but that infers we threw away everything old and we're starting over again, which is not what we're about. Um, I thought of transformational, but I think that's, that's an overused word. So I kind of settled on evolutionary because we took, we took the old and we've merged it with the new. I mean, we, we understand with our companies, their data is important, their processes are important, their workflows are important. They're not just going to throw all that away because we come up with some new widget. We have to be able to take what they did before, bring them the new technology, and bridge those two. I think evolutionary is a good word to kind of fit the thread that runs through all that.